Hey, you guys probably don't remember this, but I remember this really, really well. Tolarian Community College promoted a scam called the Monthly Magic Box. He promoted it for multiple months. In fact, in his video, you can no longer click on the videos because who would uh, keep them up? He promoted March, April, May, June, July. So he opened at least five boxes and then he had a detailed analysis of the box. Uh, this is an older video. So he made six plus videos telling his subscribers to buy this box. Now, what was this box? It was a mystery box. The problem was that the influencers like Wedge, like the mana source, as you're going to see, he's the number one comment here. They... Actually, I mean, it's very simple to understand. They would send the influencers the box beforehand. And then the influencers would make a video, promote the box, and then their subscribers would sign up for the box. And later on, uh, they would not get their box. Boxes just simply were not sent out. Then they give the box again early to the influencer. Same song and dance, same song and dance, right? I actually told Tolarian Community College straight up in our Facebook group at the time that we had that this is a scam, you have to stop. And I made one mistake, and the mistake I made wasn't that it was a scam, I knew this was a scam. Uh, how did I know it was a scam before anyone else? Well, because I they were selling clearance stuff off Dave and Adams, so I had assumed initially that they were just giving a very bad value. But in turn, uh, the real problem turned out to be they were giving no value. They were not sending boxes at all. So I talked to Tolerant Community College. I still have screenshots of that discussion. I just cannot find them. They're somewhere. You know, there's so many pictures on my Umu Facebook. I'm pretty sure I posted there for safekeeping. Um, yeah, so what he did was he started promoting this fantasy crate box that if you click on them, it doesn't work. And I believe it, it, they are also bankrupt. If you go on the website, they basically say, hey, we're no longer in business because Wizard of the Coast is given preferential treatment to our competitors or something like that. That's the mana source. The mana source was the number one supporter of the monthly magic box. Oh, back to the mistake. So I had claimed that they took money to promote the product. And Tolarian got super mad at me. And this is why we're no, we talk, we don't talk. Since that point, we don't talk, right? Because that was a misclaim. Yes, I, I regret saying that. Uh, it turns out they were promoting these boxes for seven months, like seven videos, at least six months. And they were not paid. They just received the free box. So I didn't really understand it. Um... At that time. Uh, and the reason I didn't understand it at the time. Because I was like why would you guys be promoting this shitty box. If you, none of you were paid. Like legitimately none of you were paid. So what is going on here? You know I asked that question. And uh, no, one, no one had a good answer for me. At all. No one had a good answer. And to be quite frank, it's kind of interesting just the overall collapse, if you will, of the monthly magic box. As soon as Claire and Community College, remember, he was the biggest promoter of them. As soon as he turned against them, then the mana source turned. And you can see the mana source is like, oh shit, you know, I gotta say some bad things about them too. It wasn't just the mana, it was a bunch of their friends, their much smaller friends as well. Um, like a bunch of them. And they just, uh, kept promoting this scam. And they, after six months of promoting this scam, they had enough. They had a new box to promote, which war was paying them. I'm pretty sure that, uh, I, I told them that, like, you guys should be getting paid. And then they were like, wait, what? What does that mean? And then they went out and got paid. And they, they started doing another box, which is also no longer here. So I think it is kind of interesting. It's definitely 
a relatively <laughs> when you look at it in context there are a lot of influencers promoting scams right now to their subscribers, even as we speak. But to Larry Community College, he was kind of a trend center, right? And maybe I, in a very small part, actually encouraged them to continue on with the fantasy crate, who was probably paying him. At that time, we weren't talking, so... And he basically, he left in a huff and puff, right? So... We have a uh, situation where we have a company, they're using influencers. This is back in like 2014. Influencers are getting the product early. And then you, the subscriber who has signed up for six months, never received the product. And this continued on for six months. And then people got really upset. You can see people in the comments. Uh, the videos are now deleted. They're no. He said that they would be made private and kept as a historical reference, but they're now deleted. People don't understand that this is just a shady shit that like people were doing in the beginning. It was very bad, uh, and honestly, they they started promoting a fancy crate. It was the mana source as well. They both was like, "Oh, hey, don't buy this crate. Buy this crate now." So the MMB service has continued to decline in quality, revised grade, they fail on all levers. But that doesn't help the victims, the victims who have paid hundreds of dollars into this mystery crate that they will never, ever receive, in my opinion, right? Do not buy uh, the Tolerant Community College Great Scam, the monthly magic box. Yeah, so many people don't realize that this was the beginning of his channel. And that was the beginning of like every YouTuber, on, like every magic YouTuber promoting some random shit. Some random Kickstarter or, you know, MetaZoo. They realized, wait, there's really money into to doing this. I, I just assumed they were all taking on, on the take, but they, they were not on the take. And I was a little surprised. I was like, wait, you guys are not getting paid for this, but like, why would you make a video? And then they came back with uh, with a paid sponsorship with the, fa I think Fancy Crates was paid. So that was Tulerian Community College in a nutshell. If you thought this was uh, like isolated just to MetaZoo, no, it's been going on for a long time. And it's you, the subscriber, you, the Timmy, who get flayed. Now, of course, $8,200 is a lot more than $20. I think it was like $25 or something like that. So, yeah, it, it's uh, an interesting period in time where people were doing promotions for, they were doing promotions for this, and no one even thought that, hey, maybe, maybe we should have to get money. Nope. Nope. Uh, not that at all. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Bye, guys.